The first and probably the most important question a patient considering dental implants should ask their dental implant surgeon is what specific steps they take to minimize their chance of getting periimplantitis. First, let me explain what periimplantitis is. Periimplantitis is a disease around dental implants which has two stages. The first stage is inflammation in the gum around the implant. Left untreated, this, it spreads to the second stage, which is bone loss around the dental implant. When enough bone is lost around the dental implant, the dental implant itself may be lost or fall out of the patient's mouth, and the whole investment you've made in terms of time and money is completely wasted. So it's very important to address this beforehand. I've been placing dental implants since 1988, and I've carefully observed my results over the years. In addition, as a clinical assistant professor in the Department of Implant Dentistry at New York University College of Dentistry, where I instruct other dental specialists in the art and science of dental implant surgery, and from my observations, I've developed what I call the SHARF method, which is a set of best practices from beginning to end, which are designed to assure that the incidence of periimplantitis is as low as possible. By carefully selecting the proper implant in terms of surface design and implant design, and using the perioscope to remove any residual cement which may exist under the gum, I feel we've accomplished that objective. Our patients can rest assured that when we follow the SHARF method, we're doing everything possible to help them so that their implants can last a lifetime. I urge you to call my office to schedule an appointment for a consultation. We can discuss how implants can help you achieve your oral health goals so you can smile better, feel better, and enjoy life more.